hello guys welcome to another interesting video tutorial from Sonya affiliate and today we're going to be discussing a very um, crucial part of the adbot iq software and we're going to be talking about task scheduler so what is task scheduler task scheduler basically is used for creating different tasks in the automation software for example you want them to run at a specific time for a specific amount of hours or for a specific amount of days we are going to be doing all that together in this tutorial and that's actually why you want to watch this video to the end if you want to unlock the advanced feature of the adbot iq automated software so let's get right into it okay guys um first thing you want to do is to locate the software uh, that you want to use so we're going to be using the website version but before i proceed i would quickly like to show you a website if you're interested in purchasing the software the software is currently going for 250 dollars which is the website version now if you want to go for the trial version you're willing to um go for the trial version the trial version is simply 125 dollar and it simply means you are going to gain access to the software for 15 days so for all of those who want to try it out it costs 125 dollar if you want to know if the software is going to give you the results you need so you can you know reach out to me for the trial version is for 15 days and it costs 125 dollars so let's proceed so adbot iq is simply an automated software that you can use to generate revenue on your google adsense account by depicting all forms of human activities on your site such as clicking of ads spending time and all other things okay so um for all of those who have been following they already know how it works so head over to our website adbotiq.software then you can watch this video tutorial that explain everything on how the software works so i'm going to be heading straight to the tutorial because of time i don't want to make this video long so let me just head straight to the software then i'm going to double click on it and it is going to launch now when you are launching it we are going to launch it differently we are not going to launch it the normal way we usually launch it whereby we just click on run now what we are going to click on is schedule application and you can see use this option if you want to run app later it is possible to start it with interval certain day of the week all right so i'm just going to click on ok now then you are going to get exposed to this section you might need to install some stores um which is if it's your first time of running the software you need to install um the script okay the the bot is going to pick the script and install it that might take time but i've done that because this is a video tutorial and my goal is not to make it long so what we're going to click on is this plus icon right here and what it does is we are going to give the task a name so i can call it daily traffic then i'm going to click on the next thing which is next which is the data then i'll click on input data now the bot is going to run faster because i've already imported the data before so you can see that it's running faster now so the next thing i'm going to click on is the language which is english and then the interface is going to pop up it's going to give me a fresh interface for this specific schedule task so i need to do what i need to fill in my basic information so i'm going to get my fingerprint id so i'm going to get my fingerprint id okay then i'm going to get my chrome extension my chrome So what I use that for is to, you know, prevent any form of blockage. So oh, where is it? So I think this is it. I'm gonna copy this. Let's see if this is still recording. Okay, so I'm gonna paste this right here. 
then i'll click on task manager so how many tax um, how many trade that's basically what that means so i want to run um to trade so let's just say uh maximum let me just say to trade then the website i want i intend to visit so it's still the same thing you just fill in the parameters just like the normal thing so i want to visit adbotiq no let me visit sequest.com which is our micro freelancing network now the sleep time after completing job when the bot is done how long do you want it to sleep before it logs out i leave it at 5 to 10 you don't need to change that but well, you can put 10 10 for the proxies i'm not using any proxy i'm just doing something simple i'm not doing keyword research and i'm not clicking on ads i just wanted to click on two to three pages then you should spend 20 seconds each and that's all so i just filled in the information for that specific task so i'm going to close it and you can see that my data has been input it has been correctly added okay so i'll click on next then now schedule now this is the sweet part of it so you can see you can set it any way you want it you can ask it to run now which is just the basic one which means the bot is going to run now so if i click on run now i cannot click on more settings then how many amount of time do you want the task to run then you should stop maximum running time so i can say i want it to run for days i can say i want it to run for hours now this is how you use to control the um time for example if it takes me an hour to send 200 personalities traffic if i want to send no more than 200 what i simply mean to need to do is to select one hour what it simply means is the board after an hour the board should stop working whatever is doing it should stop so these are i can say minutes five minutes i want the board to just go for five minutes or three minutes then you should stop the task all this is based on what you want to do okay so um i'm going to cancel this because i'm just checking it then i can click on run at now run at is used for advanced feature for example if you want the bot to run at a specific date like today is 18 if i want the bot to run tomorrow which is 19 okay i'm just gonna click uh -huh. i can say i want the bot to run today or tomorrow then i click on save what it simply means is the bot is going to start on thursday tomorrow is thursday september 19 and the time so i can change the time i want the bot to start by 12 a.m so let me okay all i need to do is to move this so if i want it to start by 12 zero zero so this should be am then i click on save what the this simply means is the bot will run on thursday september 19 by 12. let me check if i'm not obstructing the view of this all right so this simply means the bot is going to run at on thursday september 19 by 12 a.m so if you say it should run at interval if you say the bot to run at interval what it simply means is now what is the maximum number of time you want is okay maximum running time for a single task this simply means a bot how many times do you want the bot to come back you can say one or you can say maximum run number for example maximum number of time the task can be run how many times do you want to run the task now if you say maximum running time for a single task for one task which is you know you have different tasks you're going to be creating we created the task at the beginning okay now this specific task how many times do you want it to run do you want it to run just once and stop or you want it to keep running 
So if I want it to run just once, I will not choose infinite. Do you understand? Or what it simply means is, let me put it like this. Maximum number no, uh, of, of time you want to dedicate to a task. So what it simply means is if I say one hour, it means after an hour, each task you are running should stop. Once you start a task, once it's one hour passed, it should stop. That's the meaning. That's basically the meaning. That's just the simple meaning. Okay. I'm just checking this to make sure the camera is okay. So, you can now choose sequence, which is the date it should end. Okay. Start on Thursday. Stop on Friday. Start on Saturday. Stop on Sunday. That's basically what that means. Okay. So, I believe you understand that interval between each script starting so this simply means is if you want to let it to be running at interval task execution time this object is check when is executed for a specific for example if tax seven minutes and the interval is 10 minutes then next run will be rescheduled in three minutes okay so what this simply means is let's say you want to run um just like the thread now you want to run like up to um sorry task execution sorry if you create like one two three task let's say the first task you name it task a the second task is task b the third task is task c now you want task a and b to be running at interval what it simply means is when you put task A to start its task by 5 o'clock and task B to start its task by 6 o'clock, you now put 30 minutes interval. It means after 30 minutes, the, the task you are running in part 1 will stop. Then the second task in part 2 may be running, depending on the time you set. So that's what this interval means. For example, I have two tasks. I want them to be running every 30 minutes, then they stop. Every 30 minutes, then they stop. Every 30 minutes, then they stop. That's basically what that means. Now, you can set it every hour. You want the tasks to start every hour. You want the tasks to start every hour. You can do that. You can say sequence. These ones are the same thing. Date, week, whatever. Now, Run this task immediately after completing another task. Task is empty, so you have to create a task. So, they said you should run it after completing another task. For example, with this task scheduler, you can create up to 10 tasks. Then you can say everything to run at interval. For example, task number one can be for page views, then task number two can be for clicking ads then task number three can be for page views then task number four for example if you want to control your page ctr your click through rate you want to reduce it drastically you can create up to five different tasks and inside that five tasks only two is going to be clicking on the ads that's basically the simple explanation for what this sequence means which means they run one after the other all these are based on your setup the first task to run, then the second task you run, then the third task. Now, what you'll be using, my own advice for you, all these things, you can play around with them. You have access to everything. Okay? So, what you'll be using, basically, is um, you can say run at, then you can now check, um, let's say run at, no, you can pick start every run now. Then what you do is um, I'm looking for the one that deal does with um, the time setup, which deals with the time uh, you want the 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 bot to run. Okay, Sunday by twelve. Okay, this is run at then. Uh -huh. This is it, maximum running time. So, for example, like I said from the beginning, if you know it takes an hour for your bot to deliver 100 page views, 
uh, hundred personalities it will show you when you run it that in the last one hour you are able to send hundred people based on your trade do you understand so if your trade sends hundred personality in an hour just put an hour here what this simply means is after an hour the bot is going to stop working so that's how you control the uh, personalities you deliver to the sites okay so that's basically how it works okay so now let me say the maximum time here is just it should run for five minutes zero hours so i want the bot to run for five minutes okay let me even click on run now then it should run for five minutes okay so that's what i'm going to be using then i'm going to click on schedule okay i've already done that so okay they said traffic delivery all right then okay next next once you are done you click on what save and close save and close let me move my camera back you can so you can see that setting up application so this is simply how it's going to look like you can click on this to see more so it will take time it will start you know creating the setup so you can edit you can stop you can delete the task you can create as much task as as possible all right so that's basically how you create task and manage your task on the adbot IQ automated software for more video tutorials make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel thank you